Think about it. What's the reoccurring message that we hear from Democrats, their activists, and their media every single time they advocate for restricting our Second Amendment rights? Nobody's taking your gun. They registered their vehicles, their boats, they registered to vote. None of those things were taken away from them. Why are they worried about guns? Would I lie? The notion that I or Hillary or Democrats or whoever you want to choose are hell-bent on taking away folks' guns is just not true. Everybody got that? I'm not here to repeal the Second Amendment. I'm not here to take away your guns. What? No. Yes, I think it's safe to say they want to confiscate firearms. Not just AR-47s and AK-16s, but all guns. And they are becoming increasingly open about this agenda. As evidenced yesterday during an interview on CNN with a group of activists calling themselves Here for the Kids, openly admitted their desire to outright abolish the Second Amendment. I thought it was interesting, the response, well, look, you know I don't have to tell you this run into all sorts of issues in the courts, the Second Amendment, how the Supreme Court has ruled would make this unconstitutional at this point. That's just a, a point of fact. But I thought it was interesting that Governor Polis' staff, in response to this, said that the governor, quote, will not issue an unconstitutional order that will be struck down in the court simply to make public relations statements. He will continue to focus on real solutions. So for you guys, is this about more than just bumping up against this issue in the courts. This is about a broader message, no? Sorry, I gotta stop it there real quick because I'm kind of amazed that Poppy Harlow, who's pretty reliably left-wing, is admitting here that what they want to do is unconstitutional, which should really be your first clue that you're on the wrong side of history. So she says that, but then she just sets them up to preach about abolishing the Second Amendment anyway. And trust me, you're gonna wanna strap yourselves in for this one. Yes, number one, we need to shape a new social norm. First of all, it's there. A lot of people are afraid to say the quiet parts out loud that more guns equal more death. Wrong, wrong, wrong. That is just a slogan that many activists like her use to gloss over inconvenient facts. Not least of which is that most gun owners are not the problem. Most gun violence comes from very localized areas from a very specific group of people who are heavily involved in gang violence. We need to shape a new social norm. <laughs> You can't uninvent guns, and you're not going to be able to ban them in this country. You'll simply move it to the black market and end up criminalizing most of the country, which, again, should tell you that you're on the wrong side of this. I can guarantee you that neither of these uninformed hacks have ever debated or been scrutinized on their beliefs because every single thing they're about to say is utter bollocks. We are so ingrained in, in gun culture in this country that it's hard to say that and acknowledge it out loud. So number one, pushing this social norm that's already existed within our country right now because 64% of Americans, 64% of Americans, according to USA Today, they want gun reform. That's more important to them than preserving the rights of guns. Mm, sorry, I have to stop it again because in just a few seconds, there's so much deception that I have to quickly address. One, the right to bear arms is fundamental in America and fundamental to being a free human being. If the people ruling over you are the only people who are armed, then ultimately you're not free. And think about it, you're not gonna ban guns without the use of armed government agents. Now I can't find the exact poll that she's talking about, but I found others with numbers near that vaguely saying that they want gun reform, but that certainly doesn't mean abolishing the second amendment. And the, the latest Gallup poll shows that only 18% want to ban handguns. Lastly, <laughs> notice what she said at the end there. That's more important to them than preserving the rights of guns. Mm -hmm. Instead of saying gun rights, they say rights of guns. And I have no idea why they do this. They try to argue that the right and Republicans value the rights of guns over the rights of people. Which reminds me a lot of how they're constantly accusing guns of committing shootings. As if these inanimate objects are actually self-aware and committing these shootings all on their own. When in fact, we're talking about human beings who use guns as a tool to commit evil and everyone else who has a right to defend themselves. Who, by the way, 
defend themselves to the tunes of millions every year, which of course is not a stat that you'll hear often in our media. At the end of the day, is it unconstitutional? Yes, but so was slavery. We abolished slavery. So there's many things about the Constitution that can change. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> um, what the f did you just say? The right to bear arms in order to defend yourself from whatever it may be is the same as slavery? These two things are diametrically opposed. A disarmed people are essentially slaves because ultimately the ruling power will get what it wants through the use of force. That's the last of them. Lord Ritz, what the hell would we ever need guns for? Victory is ours. Um, and then jump in, please. No, yeah, Lake. I was just going to say, you know, that I think you know you don't have to be a, a constitutional scholar to understand that the Constitution is a living document. It's 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 up for amendment. It's up for evolution. Um, that's our privilege as humans to evolve. Excuse me. What? Um, and um, you know, I, I recognize that the the Second Amendment is is you know, what's standing in the way of this being more of a national conversation. Yes, she just said that your constitutional rights are standing in the way of her conversation. Um, but I also, you know, we are, this is a movement led by black, brown, and indigenous yep. women, as you said earlier. <laughs> Wokeness is a hell of a drug, and these two morons have clearly been through several Maoist-style DEI struggle sessions. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share, subscribe, and make sure to leave a comment to continue the discussion. Thanks a lot. I'll see you all in the next one.